what, tell me about marriage. Uh, is there a, a requirement, or what's that yes. story, briefly? As ministers, we can marry people to each other, but we don't do it unless they can document the fact they've lived together for a year and a day, so they can learn the difference between desire and affection. Ah. Two and valid but different concepts. And then we will only do it with burn. a contract. Kind of a practical thing. Right. It has we'll a term. Do it with a you expect contract. fidelity during that year and a day, I assume. You don't want promiscuity. Well, that's up it's to their them. business. I it's see. their business. Uh, how about divorce? Is it hard to get divorced if you're a woman? No, because we, do. we do a term contract. In yeah. the beginning of a relationship, mm -hmm. when they're still friendly, we write a contract. All right. Since and women's... Then, I'm sorry. Then it <laughs> may only last nine years maximum. I see. Yeah, but and this, this some of it can be only three years if you show that. <laughs> right. If they. Yeah. This, this isn't really marriage at all. What it is is openly living uh, promiscuously sexually and then trying to give it legality by <laughs> using the word marriage. That's not marriage Are at all. Are you denying the federal marriage. government's right to recognize us as ministers? I, I believe that the federal government, any government, is subject to the laws of God, no matter what you or anybody else says. That's well, the problem, the with, problem with that, today. Professor Martin, is that not everybody is in agreement on what the laws of God are. Huh? Well, Isn't I, that a... I think that uh, from the standpoint of the Judeo-Christian religion, that's the perspective we're talking about. Yes, we are. That's what our country was based on. All right. So why... Okay, you've said that you've um, gone through various uh, transformations. Do you feel that you were more effective at one time or another, and do you have any power in your change? Yeah, do you, and do you get better? You always get better. We get always wiser. Get better. We get wiser. Okay, you never come back worse then, huh? Right. No, it's not it's like not the uh, That's encouraging. Thing. Right. It's not a punishment thing. Uh, That's the difference between witchcraft and the Bible. In witchcraft, yeah. you do it yourself to get yourself better, and you don't reach up. God reaches down to you because he loves you, and we love the witches, and we pray for them because we want them to know God and his salvation in Christ. Over here. My question is, to question is to the professor. If they have their beliefs to be witches, why would you doubt them or down them? I mean, I'm a Christian, I'm a Baptist. I believe that people should be what they want to be. If they want to be witches or want to lead lives as witches, why not let them be witches and let them believe what they want to believe and you believe what you want to be? That's not right to doubt them. All right. Them. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get the record straight. From the earliest days of Christianity, it was the craft, the old witches, who are against the Christian gospel. They attacked Christianity. Christianity responded by saying, we are representing God and the Lord Jesus That's Christ. That's why more than 15,000 people were burned. Oh, well, let's get that one straight, too. Are you, are you gonna say that Christianity and all Christians have persecuted the witches? Because if you are, some Jews living at the time of Jesus of Nazareth betrayed him he was crucified. They were responsible for the crucifixion and for what happened to him. Does that make all Jews responsible? No. So all Christians aren't responsible either. I'm sick to death of that old witch's... Well, but uh, on the other day. hand... Well, right. Is the caller there? Hi. Are, are you there? Yes, Bill? Yeah, go ahead. A couple of questions I have that disturb me. I am a practicing Catholic, spent 12 years in a Catholic school. I don't believe in Satan, and I can't give anybody to give me a logical reason. They have told me time and time again that God is all perfect and all loving and all understanding and he will help you, that you can't look me in the eye and tell me that there is a Satan. He would not create anything like him. And I don't believe in the Bible because the Bible is just... Right. Uh, let, let me just try. Then why did Christ die on the cross? To forgive our sins. Uh, but how did we get the sins? Yeah. Why would he create a hell and a Satan so damnable and evil if he's so good. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's get the record straight on that one, too. God didn't create hell for mankind. What God did he cre create it for? Well, let me finish. He created hell for the angels which rebelled. They go there by divine decree. Yeah, but Man I'm not an angel, so I'm safe. Huh? You go, no, you go there by choice if you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Everybody uh, goes there. Yes. It's, it's a yeah, but you don't, you don't really think there's a lot of people there, do you? I'll tell you what I think. I think Jesus Christ was right when he said that there was eternal punishment and he died to save us from it. I right. accept what he had to say. Okay. Now, that's the best reason well, I can think of for believing. I'll bet you, I'll bet you that if you were in charge of who goes and who doesn't go, I bet you'd work it out so nobody wins. Why do you keep saying that I'll Satan is involved with witches? God can't win either But why way. would he send somebody there forever and ever and ever? That's they just... send themselves there by yeah. disobedience. You well, can either but... do it by accepting what God has but to say. But I, I have a better it. thing. I mean, I feel better about God, thinking about God saying to me, for example, oh, sure. come on in. Uh -huh. You know? 
Yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, even but look, you know, you're not, in. you're come not on. much, but come on in. <laughs> I mean, isn't that, isn't that a better sense of what God does? Hey, I got something better than that. What is that? God said to Phil one Donahue, other point I... almost 2,000 yeah. years ago in Jesus <laughs> Christ, come that's... on in, you can come. Well, I know, but it just seems that we don't, it just seems that it makes God an awfully stern taskmaster. No, it makes him a just judge. Don't you want a just judge? You know, we're even, hey, we even... Why do all judges have to be male, Phil? Oh, that's a good question. I good mean, question. I think God, it's very yeah. condescending of dear old... To be sure, God, to be sure. Uh, God is not male. Where'd you ever get that crazy idea? Well, because you keep saying... God me. is spirit. Well, God, God the Father. Is, I mean, God, you believe in the no, Trinity. Really, God the God, Father is... God is spirit, Jesus said. Right. And the terms Father and Son only express his Another relationship Another question, if I can't. I know, I can't. I mean, I can't. You. What's your question? Doesn't it seem logical? Isn't reincarnation really the answer? Doesn't it seem like a God in heaven would say to you, go back and do it again until you get it right? Yeah. 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 We'll be back in just a moment. The Christian Research Institute, that is the institute which has uh, made it its business to review cults and uh, various religious manifestations, <laughs> he said somewhat delicately, the, uh, because it's hard to talk. And our words are prejudiced. Oh, Post Office Box 500, the address San Juan Capistrano. Shouldn't we all have that address? California 92693. There it is. North or south of Nixon? And I'm pleased to uh, call your attention to <laughs> Professor Martin's book, The Kingdom of the Cults, in which he... Uh, reviews various forms of uh, religious uh, worship in this country and elsewhere. Is the caller there? Yes. Did I understand Professor Martin correctly when he said that our country was based on the Judeo-Christian religion? That is absolutely correct. It has been traced back into virtually all the founding fathers who are either professing Christians or were yeah. in harmony with the Bible. What troubles you about that? Well, I do not practice any religion at all. I was brought up Catholic, and I left the church quite a while ago. It bothers me that the professor and people similar to him have a, a more or less know-it-all attitude. They feel that they are right, and, and I really think that they try to push it on those of us who still have an open mind. Do you think it's possible to have a religion without selling it? Yes, we have one. I do. Oh, listen, I want you to understand something. Uh, what you are right now, you are by choice. I'm not trying to well, argue with you. But hear her point. She's yeah. saying that there is nothing in the Constitution which obliges an American to be a religion or, or to be a member of a religion no, or a religious no. person or to believe in God no. or not to believe in I God. I didn't right. say that. Uh, okay, and, but uh, when you say that it was founded on the Judeo-Christian... Uh, it was. It was absolutely. You know, I mean, that, let's face well, it. I fact. think we had a few Amerindians who might uh, disagree. Look, and, she wants all the benefits of America which was the product of the Judeo-Christian theology, but well, she doesn't want the theology. Yes, I think it, uh, we can agree that the people who framed the Constitution, many of the folks who framed yeah. the Constitution, were influenced by the Judeo-Christian But you've got to be a little careful because a few you do. of them were. You do, yes. Right. Well, on one hand, you say you love them and you pray for the yes. witches, and on the other hand, you're trying to stomp them out. Now, what do you no. want to do for them or to that. them? I didn't say that. Well, this is no, the I'm impression not to I'm them getting. Out. I say that we as Christians have a right to speak out against witchcraft just as much as they have a right to try and sell it. That's all I'm saying. Well, we if, if, if witchcraft doesn't hurt you, why speak out against it? Why don't you just let it Because go? God, what do you Because go? God said in his word that we were supposed to oppose evil. And that's all God I'm doing. God says you yeah. should eat pork, too. Yeah. Right. I no. want to... No. Yes, he does. Do you, back in the I'm, I'm you haven't read your new book. <laughs> <laughs> I want services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. The 1980 Ford Mustang. Enjoy the excitement of sports car performance and handling. Mustang, America's most popular sports car. True Value Hardware Stores, where quality, selection, and service are why they're number one. True Value is more than just a name, it's their way of doing business.